Hello, I am Dr. Derek J. Malachik, Applied Low Brass Faculty at Iowa Western Community College. For this session, I will be discussing the performance excerpt for the 2019 Nebraska All-State Auditions for NMEA. This particular piece will be used for both the concert band and the orchestra auditions, and then split up accordingly. This particular piece excerpt comes from A Spirit Decor by Robert Yeager, one of the selections that the 2019 All-State Band will perform at the uh, NMEA conference. This particular piece should be played at quarter note equals 160. Now, as per all excerpts and etudes, I recommend starting it out slower, especially if you're not already comfortable with, with the music, regardless of whether you've performed this piece before or haven't performed this piece before, or are just looking at it for the first time. If you are looking at it for the first time, this is where listening is going to make a big impact. Now, for this particular excerpt, I recommend finding a recording of the United States Marine Band performing this piece. This is where research comes into play. The conductor for the 2019 All-State Band is a Colonel Fedig, who is a former director of the United States Marine Band. So, bearing that in mind, what he is looking for is a sound that is similar to what he has been used to conducting. There is a recording available with the United States Marine Band on tour, and you can find that on Spotify, YouTube, or even just looking up from the United States Marine Band itself. Key items to note on this particular excerpt include watching for dynamics and articulations in particular. This is treated more like a triumphant, fanfaristic march rather than just simply a lyrical etude. So we would want to approach it that way. Big, full sound, full duration of the half notes, short staccato notes that do ring out into the uh, hall. This is a big difference than when playing jazz. In jazz, we would want to do a tongue stop on the staccatos, such as this, but not for this particular etude. Note how the sound rings out into the whole rest of the room. If you cannot hear that at the back of the room, back of the hall, then that's where you need to really work. Also, accents are played differently than the staccatos. More front, more push, namely at letter N. Such as that. I will demonstrate that for you one more time. Do not let up on that eighth note staccato note on the first bar of N at the very end. This is one that may have a tendency to ghost if you're more used to playing in a jazz setting or you feel like you want to really bring out the E flat on the next bar. Also, at the end of that first set, we have a descending E major scale for the last two bars, ending on the seventh. Accent each note, weight them accordingly, weight them equally. This is the trombone section's finest moment on this, and this is where the trombone comes out on top and technically has the melody. The same applies in parts at letter R. This is where the low brass as a whole is playing the, mel the main melody. Two bars before S, double tongue, that figure. For the last eighth note passage before F, or S, pardon me, watch the articulation. You have one note that is accented, and the other ones are shorter, so you do not need to use as much front on those. Play them as you would, say, a staccato passage, and then really emphasize the B-flat at the end of that. 
I will now demonstrate both excerpts on my trombone. Excerpt number two from Letter of R. One more item that I forgot to mention. Three bars after N. Use fifth position for the B flat. And the reason why I suggest fifth position is you are going from second, fourth, and then rather than going all the way back to first for that short passage, stay in fifth because the G flat is also in fifth, as shown in these two bars. <laughs> Much simpler than having to run than having to go back and forth with your arms. I wish you the best of luck on your audition, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.